Good evening. We start tonight with the sad news of the death of one of the region's biggest television stars. Broadcaster Mike Neville has died at the age of 80. For more than 40 years, he was a much loved character in living rooms across the northeast and Cumbria, entertaining millions of people with his warmth and humour. Jeff Brown looks back at a remarkable career. If you lived in the Northeast at any time from the 1960s to the new millennium and you owned a television set, you'd know Mike Neville. In this part of the world, he was quite simply the godfather of regional TV. Born on Tyneside at Willington Quay in 1936, he began his broadcasting career as a young reporter on the newly launched independent station Tyne Tees in 1959. Within a few years, he'd switched to the BBC, and for more than three decades, he was rarely off our screens. How many people like these, uh, these short pants? Yeah? And how many people don't? <laughs> Who? I got one that doesn't. Come here. Come here. Mike became a local legend with his easygoing, familiar style and his terrific sense of humour. Millions of viewers gladly welcomed him into their front room at six o'clock from Monday to Friday night. An actor in his early days, he had the happy gift of being able to cope with any tricky situation. Even the best broadcasters couldn't catch him out. We can't get network pictures. Well, it's only Wogan. Is he back from holiday yet? <laughs> you don't know, is it? Back? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, he is back from holiday. What a pity, because I prefer Ben Elton myself. I prefer Ben Elton. Well, I'd like to... Oh, excuse me one moment. The word's just coming in here. What does this say? You're joking. <laughs> they give me some news to read. But a news giver can't down Mr. Podcasters. Well, I don't like that one. <laughs> and if I don't like it, I don't think you will like it. <laughs> it's, it's Noel Edmonds. And I, what is that? Hello. Congratulations, Mike. <laughs> what? <laughs> You have just been filling for a record period of time. <laughs> Not going out on the network. <laughs> you are a recipient of the Gotcha Oscar. You swine! <laughs> Keeping up appearances for an eternity when he thought he was still on air. One of Mike's finest moments. Others included a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Royal Television Society and an MBE for services to broadcasting. Mike made frequent appearances on national TV, but told his Look North successor, our own Carol Malia, he had no regrets about staying loyal to the North Eastern Cumbria. I actually hated working in London. Did you? Yeah. Up here, again on both sides, it's like working with a family. You get to know them. You, I mean, I worked for 32 years. Uh, it would be 10 at uh, Tyne Tees. And it's like working with family. Let's get the party started. Oh my God. <laughs> when Mike turned 80, we went round with a cake. Now that is the story of my life. <laughs> and the RTS acknowledged that landmark birthday at their annual awards night. OK, Mike, Mike Neville, a, a legend in our living rooms from the past. The fact is, even in retirement, Mike remained a hugely popular figure with a public who loved him for what he was a TV star, but always one of their own. Mike Neville, who died peacefully today with his family beside him.